Wait a minute. Sorry, I... D d ZSNES, stop it. Stop it. Just stop it, ZSNES. <sighs> the following updates are available. I don't care, OBS. I can deal with updates later. That's not important right now. Oh, I can... Oh, right, because it's set to super scope. No, it's not. Uh, there, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yep, everything's working all right. 1994. Here we go. In phone. I know. Trust me. I know. I can see it. I can see it on my screen. Come on. Oh, right. That's... Brett James sent me a picture of his Yu Narukami cosplay. There we go. Uh... Yellow. Uh, yeah, sure. There we go. <coughs> you hear me? Yeah, I can. Alright. I'm never sure if this thing is on mute or not. Mm, yeah, I feel ya. <clears throat> Let's see. Any of the screen share thing? Uh, go to call, call, and then just click share screens. That's what I did. And it Sh worked. Let's... I can see your screen. Yeah, you can. How do you... Can, can you get it to a... Share a window. This window. Start. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. Mm, should set it back to super scope. I'm just doing this while I'm waiting for, you know, people to appear. People. 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 You know, people. They're so. So people. Yeah. Like. Exactly. <clears throat> This is Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge. It's a game for the Super Scope. It's good. Never had a Super Scope as a kid. It's good. I never had a Super Nintendo as a kid, so it makes sense I never had a Super Scope. My friend had a Super Nintendo, so I played played the games. But... You ever play Kirby's Retur Return to Dreamland? I've I later went back and played pretty much all the major games on emulator once uh, once I got a computer. Did you ever play Kirby's Return to Dreamland for Wii? No. Oh well, I was gonna make because one of the uh... I've played a lot of Kirby games. I really don't remember them by name, and I haven't finished most of them. I just like Kirby is just like a chill thing to do sometimes. Yeah, I feel ya. Anyway, I was gonna say that one of the mini games in Return to Dreamland for the Wii is basically this game. I see. So, um, this, is, this is the first boss. There are nothing but boss fights in this game. 
This is Garum. He is the first boss. So you're using the gun to shoot and aim, I assume. Are there yes. other controls as well? You can right. Uh, you can use the cursor button to switch between the things you can shoot. You can see I've got a bomb down there. And if you hold the cursor button, you can shoot a, f a hyper shot, which takes all your ammo. Can you dodge? No. Is there any kind you of block or anything like you, that? You have to shoot down their bullets. Oh, I see. So, uh, shooting is everything, of course. Yes. Where are the people? Usually people show up did you, earlier. Uh, set the... Did you, did you remember to... Uh, oh, crap. I think I did forget uh, to add the event. Let me... Uh, there's like a thing to do it now. I'll just do that. That's alright. If Steam cooperates, Steam, why aren't you doing anything? Clicking the button. Here's a monkey. He is a dad. Failed to load web page. Thank you, Steam. This no. is a great time for you to not work. One moment. I'll try. Gamepad. Steam. Kinunishimura groups. Super great fans. Public. All right, you're doing better than me. Steam just stopped working entirely for some reason. Or at least Schedule the internet. Ein event. Event created. Event has started. All right. Hopefully that'll uh, reel those peoples in. Hopefully. In the meantime, I'll just shoot down this monkey. Each of it, the, all the bosses have a weak point of some kind. Unsurprisingly, his is the tail. It's kind of hard to hit. I always like when uh, they have relatively like simple gameplay, so they get to go crazy with the sprites because they don't have to. So you get these big detailed, like this looks super awesome for, I'm saying super because I was going to say Super Nintendo. This looks really good for the Super Nintendo. I agree. There are two playable. Is he slapping his ass? Yes, he He's is. slapping his ass. There's two playable robots. The fa This is the tornado. It can shoot faster and it has 10 ammo slots so it can rapid fire. The uh, Falcon shoots all of its ammo at once and and uh, only has three slots, but it's sturdier. Since it only has three, it can charge up to max faster. <laughs> that is one hell of a portrait right there. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're in Mongolia now. Hey, Ark is here. The party can start now. Mm, I'll wait. I'll wait a bit. Yeah, until... no. I'm, I just mean like Ark yes. is here, so the yes. party can kiss. Ark starts the party. You know, of course. party in the Ark. It's all Noah did. You know, while they were floating on the water, they just partied constantly. I mean, he did set up a vineyard once they landed, didn't he? He must have. Like, I think that's actually in the Bible, that, like, that was what he did afterward. He got, he, he just grew tons of wine and drank it and chilled. No, you're not. Tolan, right. you are right on time. We're not playing Live Live yet. This is Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge, in which there will be nobody called the Falcon, because I like playing as the Tornado, the, I like playing as the Tornado better. This is a cinematic revisiting of the Mecha chapter? Yes, it is. Well, yeah, Fuck yeah, Falcons! Yeah, yeah, sh shut up, I know how this game works. I understand how this game works, Carol. The blonde lady is Carol. She's the pilot. We're the gunner. That's why we don't have to control. Everyone thinks we're weird. Yes, this is a super scope game. 
In fact, this is a game that only works with a Super Scope. This is unfortunate because although the Super Scope was a terrible was a terrible peripheral, this game is fantastic, and nobody played it because the Super Scope was a terrible peripheral. Yeah, this game looks pretty good. <laughs> like, I think of Super Scope. This is not what I think of. You think Yoshi Safari? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Razio 2. People are filing in. Wow, I did not expect him to go down that easily. Usually, Griffin's a bit tougher. If you're playing as the Falcon, they're like, oh no, we're gonna burn up in reentry, but the tornado's just like, yeah, I don't care, I'm gonna leave. And then you leave. It's pretty good. What ifs? We got this under control. You get an extra bomb for every stage you beat, and then sometimes, depending on your performance, you'll get different items after you beat a guy. Tolling, I do not want to be spared from the puns. I want to embrace them and, and, and bathe within them. This guy here was in the first game. This game is a sequel to a game called Battle Clash, which is not as good. This guy hates the main guy who pilots the Falcon. He doesn't know who we are, but we're going to kill him anyway. <laughs> I have a rival. Wait, you're not him. Um, let's fight. He just has a thing against robots where two different people pilot and shoot. I don't know why. It's weird, I guess. What a weird dude. I'm so weird. Oh yeah, blew up his gun. So how long is this game? Uh, there's... I think... 12 fights? That's yeah, more than I expected. I thought it would be a kind of like replay it thing. With less fights. Well, this is the fifth. Yeah, no, like I was thinking there'd be one or two more. Oh. My expectations were too low. It's still not a long game. Yeah. It's just, again, much more than I expected from a Super Scope game. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Let's battle. Now we're on Mars. Of course. Of course we're on Mars. The Red Planet. As seen here. Hey, hey, Anubis. Anubis hey, is, hey, Anubis! Anubis is a bad guy. I forget what he does, but he's evil or something. I don't know. The plot doesn't matter. This is his robot. We are in the hell dimension. I'm, I'm sorry, that is not a dog face. That is a cyborg. That clearly is not Anubis. <laughs> Call inaccurate Egyptian mythology right here. Nerd. <laughs> Last time I played this game, I completely forgot that the hyper shot existed, and wow, it makes things die so much faster. Hooray! Explosions! 25 seconds. I think this guy took me like two or three minutes last time. Yeah, that would, uh, that would definitely be faster. You were there, Tolling. You remember that. you the last time I played this game. You were there. 
I spent well, I spent like an hour on the last boss because I forgot that the hyper shot existed. You remember? You may have also missed this tolling, but um, I would like to see this uh, this pun that you have referred to because I am not one to shun the pun. I I am one to love the pun, to bathe within the pun, to unite and become one with the pun. So this guy. Don't shoot his abdomen. That is a bad idea because he'll kill you. The guy who pilots the Falcon tells you to shoot his abdomen because he's a dumb. Tulling, you don't get to say there's this terrible thing and I'm not going to show it to you. You don't get to do that. That's not... Yeah, that's, that's not, not kosher. Allowed. That's not kosher at all. You've already told us about it, thereby you have already unleashed its power on the world. You need to follow through. Thank you. Glad that's settled. Oh, by the way, we're shooting aliens now. Of course. Yeah, of course. Now we're I, I know what's going on. I've been paying quite a bit of attention to the fine plot of this game. Something about aliens or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Watch it just be a link to Geops profile. <laughs> if you've not uh, seen Geop, he, he makes a lot of puns. Let's fight this guy. He has a giant robot. I, I still want to see Geop and Diabetes do a Let's Play together. It would oh, be the most fun right, that, film that's, that's thing right. that's what this guy does. ever. A man got hit in the head with a can of Coke, but he was alright. Because it was a soft drink. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic! Wonderful! Oh, this I'm guy's gimmick. This guy's gimmick is that he, this guy's <laughs> this guy's gimmick is that he has a shield that eats your energy and then shoots it back at you. But you can blow it up if you shoot it enough, and that makes him go away. There's another one. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's okay. He woke up. Actually, that one is in Majora's Mask. Um, the two jugglers. They said, did you hear about the kidnapping at the swamp? Oh, I, hi. I yes, but then the kid woke up. I remember this because I was playing Majora's Mask recently, and it's good and stuff. That's, that's a lie, I, mean. I like I liked the part where I wrestled a giant worm. That's a good part. Oh, we have more. What did the duck say when he bought lipstick? Put it on my bill. Uh, not, not as good as the first one. None of yeah. these are as good as the first one, but uh, I still approve. Alright, and more. How many of these are there, Tolling? Is this like a, Is there a Tumblr devoted to bad puns? Because that's awesome. What happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? It gets towed away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not see anything bad about these tolling. What's the last one? I got all of them. What? Why would you not get any of them? Yeah, they're all really obvious. Unless there's... Is there, like... What, because... Because it's Comic Sans on top of pictures of sand? That's... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, I mean, it's just poor. Uh, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It's not terrible. It's not wonderful either. At least it was a soft drink. Oh, I'm supposed to 
supposed to shoot these things, right? I think, um... should probably head over to the sci-fi chapter soon. Oh, well, there's only three fights left in the game, so... Oh, I guess we may as well finish it, then. Mm -hmm. I, re I recognize Comic Sans sometimes, and I don't recognize it other times. I never think it looks good, necessarily, but... Sometimes I don't recognize it. Oh my god, it's the final level! Whoa, it's Uranus. No. No, actually, it's... Uranus uh, was the last level or something. It's, it's Hell Dimension Round 2. AKA Uranus. This is a terrible joke, I'm sorry. My anus is not a hell dimension. Come on. Where is it? It turned out that the bad guy was really only a robot clone and the real him was here all along, so now we must defeat him. What? My thoughts act like. Yeah, Comic Sans has its use. There's a reason that it exists in the first place. People just use it for lots of things. And also, now it's too hated. And even if you were to use it for something like a kid's birthday flyer or something, people would be like, oh my god, use Comic Sans, you're horrible. So, yeah. Oh, right, this guy's actually hard. I forgot. Oops. Game over, game over, game over. You know what else they could have done to him? They could have put Papyrus over in the sand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You can do this, I believe in you. I believe in me too, but thank you. Well, extra belief can't hurt. Of course. The you comic sans and what? That's terrible. I I don't. Lex Luthor stole four forty cakes. That's as many as four tens, and that's terrible. That is terrible, but using Comic Sans on a police notice for rape is even worse. I agree. No, you don't have to find it, Razio. That's okay. I'll, I'll be okay without saying that. But now it's time for his true form. You thought me defeated, but no. That wasn't even my final form. Now behold my true power. Behold, Turtles. Behold my true form and despair. What is this? It's angelic imagery. It's our pilot's it's alien. Heel. It's our pilot's alien sister or whatever. I don't care. Oh, I want an alien sister. That would be cool. All right, you posted it. I have to click on it. That's that's a rule apparently. Oh, but the web the web page is not loading for me. The web page is not available. Guess I got off easy here. If we lose here, do we have to start no, we at don't. the last form? Or? Okay. I mean, 
I imagine it's it's a police notice for rape, and it's in Comic Sans. I, I think I can imagine it pretty vividly. <laughs> this is the hardest fight in the game. Once once this is over, it's just. I love that apparently our outfit is funded by Nintendo, according to that blinking sign in the back. Yep. So in the future, Nintendo gets into giant military mechs. I've not heard of Ori in the Blind Forest. I am out of touch. What's that? Well, I can't really watch a video while, while the stream is going. Do you have screenshots or description? Okay, I can get behind a 2D Metroidvania with Super Meat Boy style controls. That sounds pretty fun. Is it being made by uh, someone I might have heard of? Or is it indie? Is it triple A? What's the deal? Oh, so just because I want to show off, um, so my friend was at PAX, and he was walking, and then he saw, oh, hey, look, it's uh, Swery and uh, Axis Games in the D4 booth. I think I'll go over there. And then he met Swery, and he took a photo with him, and he bought me a signed, autographed copy of the D4 soundtrack. So my friend is awesome. I just started watching D4 recently. It's so good. It, it does get off to a bit of a slow start, especially with the whole 100% super great friend style. But oh my god, it gets so amazing. Nah, I don't care anymore. Yes, uh, they had a PC build running at PAX. Tons of people came over and were like, I will buy this day one on PC. Mm. Um, I, you know, come to think of it, I should probably switch it off of Super Scope now. Oh, it's... Yes, that might be a good idea. Um, my friend speculates that either Swery is trying to get Microsoft to let them make a PC version by having the PC build there, or Microsoft is actually maybe thinking about doing it. Either way, there was a ton of support for it, so that's good. Welcome back to Live a Live, everybody. Last time we piloted a giant robot and uh, defeated Shenlong to stand a chance. This time we're going to be a little robot. We are Golf Ball Kagito Ergosum. That's a good name for shit. So, we are R2 Golf Ball. Yes, we are R2 go Golf Ball. Well, um, someone asked Swery if there would be more D4. And according to my friend, he said yes, but may have been lying because he sounded reluctant. I'm not sure what that means. Interpret it as you will. Okay, we are on the Kogito Yurasum. We are headed to Earth. We have an alien life form in the cargo. Oh my. And we have a penis-shaped ship. Um, I'm I'm sensing some aliens themes here. is a spaceship. Mm -hmm. Orders from Earth. Study! Oh no, the Metroids are escaping. Now that we're doing screen share, can you hear it? 
Um, no. I can occasionally hear little beeps coming from your microphone, but no. Mm. Well, there isn't any music. I was just curious. It's just Earlier when you were playing the uh, the mecha shooter, I heard oh. some beeps. Yeah, so far this seems pretty aliens. Just awakened from cryogenic sleep. Let's get some breakfast. Don't worry, Ark. Neither have I. <laughs> I have... I saw the first one. And I've heard a lot about the others. I'm not really a horror person, which is why I haven't watched all of them. Well, that should have done it. Can you figure out the puzzle? Um, go to the menu? We can go to the menu. It says his default name there because we haven't gotten a name yet. <laughs> I'd never noticed that. Um, I mean, have you tried moving and pushing buttons? What? Oh my god! It, 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 it moved! It's alive! A rope, his robot works! Yay! Hi, K-A-T-O. We don't have a name yet. No, we don't. Well, actually, we do. Strangely, I'm not sure how it got there, but we, we are called Cube. Ignore that. Does sound like a dog's name. How about I give you a, a silly name? Completely opposite to your nature. That's a genius idea. <laughs> well, if our default name is Cube, I think uh, Sphere would make a good name, possibly? Maybe not. Maybe. Come in. Hey, Jack. <coughs> Come what do I have to do? Help with oh, God. Gotta, gotta go do st something for a bit. Alright, um, time to, uh, fill some air. So, um... I guess I guess I will click on that video, Tolling. Let's let's see what what is in that video. Oh God, Five Nights at Freddy's Three, with a little child. Why would you do that? I don't understand. Don't understand this world that we live in. Why are you the way you are? But it's entertainment for the internet. Who cares about the child's well-being, Tolling? <clears throat> All right, we're in the blind forest. Can't uh, play the music or I'll start echoing, but I will look at this trailer. It is indeed quite pretty. This is made by the uh, people who made Dust and Lucy's Tale. Looks similar to that. Although, really, I mean, that's just a animated style. Hmm. Yeah, this looks, uh, this looks pretty good. That is a uh, very pretty game right there. Or looks fun too. I am always up for more Metroidvanias. Is it like an indie thing, or are they a AAA studio? Former AAA people who made an indie studio. It's both. Hey, 
Hey, pillows. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have to kill here, but uh, I thought I'd uh, pull out the piano and uh, make some noises because I don't know what else to do while we're waiting. And I don't know how long we're going to be waiting. So... <clears throat> Free bird. All right, uh, I will do free bird. Hold on. Uh, some family thing um, did not specify. So my uh, sustain pedal is broken, unfortunately. So um, if you know what that means, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you don't. Man, my internet is being all weird. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I knew the theme, uh, Gary's theme. Yeah, the pedal at the bottom. Um, I have a real piano upstairs, uh, but this is a, the electric keyboard, so. Huh. Wi-Fi is not working on my iPad, weird. Let's try just turning that off. Come on, give me Freebird, man. I want to play Freebird. Well, that's the weird thing about me. I started with guitar, so even though I play piano now, I don't read sheet music fluently. It takes me a long time. Um, I read chords right away. I mostly play things like from fake books or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, all right, I can't get Freebird to come up for some reason. That's weird. Um, no, wait, here it is. Okay. If I leave here tomorrow Would you still remember me? For I must be traveling on now There's too many places I've got to see Just couldn't be the same. Some as free as a bird now, and this bird you'll never change, and this bird you cannot change. Favorite everyone. <laughs> uh, should I move the mic back more? I mean, it's set up. It's not set up for music. Is the problem right now? Um, okay, I will play a song for Mega Man Two. Give me a sec. The Megas version of, of the song from Mega Man 2, because those are more fun, because I get to sing. Do not hate, hate I'll be. I just, I just can't read sheet music fluently, and it would take me a while to learn it. They say he 
appeared in a doorway Boomerangs at his sides The faith that he would defy A mega man is coming to die now There's too much at stake now There he goes He looked to the distance and cried Man in blue has arrived Quick on the draw in this town I am the law Is what they say true Does death wear blue? Can he fall? Oh, I'm just the love Microphone over here, so that sounds better. Um, it's it's Quick Man, the the Mega's version of Quick Man's theme. I'll, I'll keep going. It was then that the crowd saw the Quick Man. He knew that he couldn't tell them he was the quickest of all. Would this be the day? falls now there's too much at stake now cold wind blows he looked at the crowd and he cried the moment of truth has arrived quick on the draw in this town i am the law is what they say true does death wear blue? Can he fall? The circuit's slow. I'm not scared anymore. I see the faces of my brothers that have fallen before. The circuit's slow. I'm not scared anymore. Reach for my weapon and in turn you're reaching for yours. The circuit's slow. What they said is a lie The shots are heard As bullets scream death as they fly My circuit's slow I'm not scared anymore This is the moment That we have been created for My circuit's slow My moment has come Your speed means nothing If it's death that you're running from my circuit's slow, I'm not scared anymore I join the ranks of my brothers that have fallen before You're too quick on the draw Burn this town, there is no law What they say is true, death does wear blue He can fall should listen to the mega sometime they're pretty great uh, should I move the microphone further away or is that fairly good thank you oh good I don't have to play the piano anymore was 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 that the dex what? Yes, I, ha I have my piano out. I've been entertaining people. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. Well, don't worry. I'm back from things. High pillows. How were things? They were all right. I was putting away groceries. Oh, that's always fun. Putting away groceries, the most exciting thing of all. It's true. Only one more week until we're back on Earth. Yes, I don't know if you saw my Steam message, but I agree, Mikami's path is... Ugh. We're talking about a pretty boy's dating game called Sweet Fuse at Your Side. Oh boy. 
Hey, the art looks nice in that game. I don't know anything about it. Here's what you need to know. Makoto Mikami is a total creepazoid. And so is Arabe, but whatever. No, it's on huh? PSP, not Steam. Was it made by Atlas, though? No. Or, like, because the art looks really Atlas-y. Thirty-two. Oh my God, thirty-two. So old. <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, let's register. New crew member. Saki is eighteen. Yes. So now we get to choose our own name. What is our name? Um, I would like to enter Sphere as a possibility. Or golf ball? Or golfy? Come in. Come in. No oh dear. Do I need to get the piano back? <laughs> had to dis had to discuss some food. All right. And I, li so, I, uh, I like I like golfy. Golfy, yeah. Golf is good. Golfy. Hi, I'm golfy. Yeah, I'm gonna be thirty two like in a, in a couple of years, <laughs> and then I will be super anime old. You will be the Oyaji. Like, I will be ten Yoji to them. No, 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 Kato, I get it. I'm a smart, I'm a smart guy. It, it could work, Tolling. Um, so something I'd like to note. It would take the right people in the right circumstance. Golfy has no equip menu, and he has no skills. Alright. No battles. Yeah, no, it's it's a red flag, definitely, but that doesn't mean it's impossible for it to work. Like, depending on the people, they could have a genuine relationship that really works because of who those people are. Yeah, I, and I and I think that in this case it was written pretty well. Yeah, so if if like if it was written well and they really connected and all of that, like I'm okay with that. Now we're going in this door. Look, it's passengers. Is uh, Quark in one of them? No, here's Kirk, though. Oh. Kirk is like Quark, right? What the? What the? <laughs> oh, I was hoping Kirk would say more. <laughs> I wanted to do a Shatner impression. He will say more words, so... Oh, good, good. And yes, that is actually the... That is the reference. That Excellent. They're all named after uh, characters from some kind of sci-fi. It will be very obvious when we see the military man's name. I hope Spock is on board somewhere. Um... Yes, Razia, we are a fucking golf ball. We are, in fact, a golf ball. That's the spirit golfy. <laughs> wow, Kato. <laughs> I hope you get killed off first. <laughs> Who's saying, who saying people are getting killed off? Well, it's, it's very alien so far, is, is all. So, you finally managed a model that doesn't fall apart when it's turned on. Eh. I'm not very good at Shatner, I just wanted to do it. <laughs> I'll try it next time he talks. It's good to meet ya, Golfy. I'm Kirk. Captain Kirk. Uh... 
Yui's still asleep. Silly Yui. Silly Huey. Hey, With a don't kiss. <laughs> why don't you wake up sleeping beauty here? Wake up. God damn it, Kirk. Always trying to have sex with people while they're sleeping. <laughs> I love that bit. Oh, it's a robot. Oh, okay. I'll go I back in bed that, then. <laughs> I thought it was just a golf ball. Corporal Dart. <laughs> yes. That's his name. His oh, name is Corporal God. Darth. Corporal Darth. Corporal. I find your lack of faith disturbing. It would be pretty awesome if he did turn out to be a good guy. Hey, we're not a rodent, we're a golf ball. Exactly. He yeah, could just be like the unlikable asshole who's still a good guy. You never know. That's a military man for you. So him. inflexible. Don't worry about it. I don't know. Every single time. Yeah, this is aliens. This is totally aliens. Not No, not aliens. Aliens is like Alien 2. It's alien. <laughs> but wait. In Alien, the robot, one of the people turned out to be a robot, and he tried to kill him. Did we uh, turn traitorous at any point? I don't know. On uh, orders from the corporation back home? What corporation back home? Well, that's we what that's what happens at Aliens. We were literally just born, dude. Come on. That, that's a good point. In Aliens, he's, he's robot. He's programmed by the corporation back home, and so it's mm. screwed up priorities because they they told him to do something. Yeah. So uh, clearly, we have more important things to be doing. But um, screw that. Let's uh, yeah, interrupt. This let's, is a ball. Let's 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 uh, mess up Kirk's video game. <laughs> Yes. You want to take a shot at it? Yes, I want to play Captain Square. Time for the Kobayashi Maru. But we're not. Or we're, we're something much, much more awesome. This is Captain Square. It's the only combat in the, in the chapter. This is pretty intense. Captain Square is a powerful man. He has many he has many very effective moves. I wonder how a arcade game in real life that's just RPG combat would fare. I mean Captain Square is awesome. Yes. I would play any game starring Captain Square. Of course. <laughs> I threaten you. So threatening. Very threatening. Pie Mason shot. I'm Captain Square and I have superpowers. By the way, this is completely optional. I also never drink alcohol or do drugs. Winners don't do drugs. Oh my god! <laughs> Those are awesome. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> if you beat it right now, you get Kirk to say, Wow, you beat my high score. That's it. That is the only point to this existing. Board. Weebly, weebly, weebly. Yeah, I would, I would totally want one. Yeah, there's nine stages of this, uh, 
today happen, I guess. I'll probably die at some point before I reach the end, but who cares? Whatevs. Exactly. It's just a video game, man. Exactly. No need to ever take those seriously. Of course not. Exploding. Captain Square can dodge explosions. Cause cool guys don't look at explosions. They stride forward in their diamond covered boots. Yeah, my internet is being really weird also, pillows, if you can even hear me right now. Um I'm surprised that the streaming is working, but hey. Oh, um wait, you do you do actually get one thing for beating this. It's and it's a credit sequence for Captain Square that plays a song that is nowhere else in the game. Okay, that's pretty good. I, I would like to. I'll look it up on YouTube. It's Captain called Captain Square theme. Captain Captain of Shooting Stars is what it's called. My internet is being weird in different ways, though. It's not hitbox. It's being weird. It's just. And yes, we are currently on Earth, which is occupied by living fire. As it, as it is. Yes, of course. Hadouken! Shinku! Hadouken! I always used to wonder what Ryu was saying when he did, uh... It's, I don't know, it was called Dragon Kick or Ta Tatsumaki Senpukya. Yeah. Uh, I used to think, he, like, the best I could figure out was Dyslexic Pumpkin! Dyslexic Pumpkin! Dyslexic Pumpkin! I used to go around saying that. I'd like some pound cake! I'd like some pound cake! <laughs> uh, come on, Captain Square, use your quark sword. You can do yes, it. Yes, we can blame esports. It is all esports fault, and it's only esports fault. We have managed. Is that pumpkin? We have managed to defeat the deadly fire. Now we must defeat the deadly waters. Another uh, well-known inhabitant of planet Earth. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of water on planet Earth. It is a lot of water. Generally, it is not alive. Well, it but, you contains know that... life yes. and, and provides for life. Yes, of course. Yes, there is... Yeah, pillows, I... try going outside. It's usually there. Oh, snap! Hi, <laughs> 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 uh, so funny. <laughs> uh, huh? Oh, outside is the other end of the door. It's the place you never go. So this is the seek so this is a gimmick part. You um the the mom heals them, but it does but it but it doesn't heal itself, so you just need to he hit it for more than it heals itself for. It, it, uh, Hurt it a lot. Yes. Hurt it big. Heard it with the power of Captain Square. Yeah, unless does that to you, pillows. Believe me, I know. I blame Mikami. He's terrible. Sure. Hadouken. Hadouken! Well, <laughs> we sure are using Plasma Ball. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, now we're fighting the Bird Dragon Ball Z Scatter Army. Yes. Oh god, making a villain a romance option? Yeah, it doesn't. That sounds like trouble. It's it's as bad as it sounds, trust me. Get him, Captain Square. Go get him. Go get him. 
Golfy is using his superior robot logic in order to conquer this game. Yes, he is powerful. This is power. Next stage, Saturn. And since this game is from 1994, it goes up to Pluto. <sighs> People misunderstand the whole Pluto thing. Because here's the thing. What happened is we found, like, thousands of other things the size of Pluto. So we had a choice. Do we say we now have thousands of planets in our solar system? Or do we say Pluto is a planet? Like, that, that's, that's all it comes down to. It's, it's not like anyone's like, I hate Pluto! I hate Pluto. Pluto oh, no, sucks, Captain. it's all cold and... Oh, we're just, we, we decide. Captain Square has been defeated. No, I, I literally think it is thousands. Well, because there's like, basically we found out Pluto is part of like this, this collection in a specific place with tons and tons of planet, well, well rocks like Pluto. So it's not special is the point. It's, it's like all those other ones. It's the first one we found. It's notable for that. But, I mean, if we classified planet as anything that size, it would, it would be problematic in a lot of ways. Can he, you know, actually do anything? <laughs> Why did we'll we teach him? Learn to make coffee. Why not? Making coffee is the most important mechanic of this yeah, chapter. They're called dwarf planets. They have their own name. They are a thing. Like, Pluto is the first dwarf planet we ever found. It's special in that way. It, it is a dwarf planet. It's not just a rock. It, it's just not a planet planet. That's uh, tolling. That's no moon. That's a space station. Yeah. That's true. Oh no! What? D Darth, you're doing a bad thing? I have had many pleasant experiences with robots. <laughs> Goddamn robots. Stealing our derbs. Lost my arm to a robot in the Second War. That's literally what he is. <laughs> <laughs> No, Pluto does have a moon. Dwarf planets can have moons, too. This is the captain. His name is Hal. You get no points for rec recognizing that reference. Hal? And we're only seeing him over the video screen? Maybe he's a robot. Maybe everyone is a robot and we're the only human. Maybe, maybe Darth is a robot. Maybe, maybe we're a human disguised as a robot disguised as a human mm, it all makes sense though. why would why would he not have a red Fu Manchu mustache true true that, that. true that I'm a Captain Kirk Ah, in a fune. Hey, wanna see something cool? Thank you for telling us the layout of this ship. Yep. We couldn't have, like, accessed the systems and checked if we needed to. Bye, Mr. Robot Racist. I'm Darth, and I'm racist against robots. Vote for me! This is a complex elevator mechanic. Samurai Fantasy 7 and Alice Kart. Having played the game, I can confirm that both of those are things. Interesting. Is oh, Alice Kart like Alice in Wonderland Kart? Or just. Yes. Okay. It's Mario Kart with Alice in Wonderland. That's pretty also, cool. I'd play that. Also, also, there's an Ilby level. 
like a legit ill bleed level or a level that's just like ill bleed? It contains a mechanic by which your character. It has a horror monitor. It, it no, it has a shock meter. You can die of shock okay. death. That's how I recognize. Well, them. taking inspiration from ill bleed, that's something. Mm-hmm. Also, the plot of that level came straight out of ill bleed, pretty much. It would absolutely be a ill bleed thing. What's up with Rachel? What's up with Rachel? Personal drama going on up ends. It's a dog. It is a dog. And by dog, we mean Final Fantasy monster. Yeah. It's a space dog. Exactly. Let's all go to the the cockpit. That is the one I'm referring to. Something's up with the co- with the. Come on, warp speed! Warp speed! Hi, Corporal. Let's go warp ten and then evolve into lizards. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought up Voyager. You know, there's a Voyager and Powerpuff Girls crossover fan fiction. I would be surprised, but I'm not. Because of course there is. There, there's official X Men and Next Generation crossover comics and novel. Sonic and Mega Man. Is that official? Yes. There were two of them. I know Sonic crossed over with Image Comics, and it was terrible. Let's go to the third floor. Yay. We're going to the third floor. The one good thing about the X-Men Next Generation crossover was that Troy actually was useful because she could like sense sense things and that actually mattered in it. I remember that part. It was cool. Also, my favorite character in Sweet Fuse is a guy, his name is Mayoshi, and he is a shut-in nerd that is somehow way more awesome than, like, the police officer because he knows kung fu. Okay. Okay. His his introduction as, like, an actual character is him dodging traps in a samurai castle like he, he was right out of a Bruce Lee movie or something. And it's now, when you say that, do we actually see this, or is yes. this like visual novel written description? There's a CG of it. Alright. He calls it the ninja step. I'll just fix it manually. You're not Scotty, Kirk. Warp speed! He's going to go outside and fix the comms. Fun fact, beam me up, Scotty, was never once said on Star Trek. You've mentioned this before. Well, well, I'm, I'm looking for, for something to talk about, okay? I understand. Got all this Trek going on. Can go back to the Janeway lizard. Did you see that episode did where they not, in, they invent what da, 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 da. you know what you know I like to imagine that every time there's an ellipsis just a box of ellipsis it's just that character farting every time there's an ellipsis this happens um hold on there we go that happens That, but my 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 suggestion makes Final Fantasy VIII much funnier. You make a good point. That was a game. It I also like to think that Squall just keeps generating tumbleweeds, though. That'd be cool too. Everyone has to eat beans. <laughs> Don't worry, something's going to actually happen soon, I swear. Oh, good things. 
This is not the time, man. Back off. Don't mess with me, you bitch. Don't mess with me, you son of a bitch. No, don't hurt Golfy. He didn't do anything Give to deserve Golfie that. Me. I'm a captain. <laughs> That's why Rachel dumped you! You can actually get yourself sucked outside. It is a game over. Oh <laughs> who, who is it that stares at people when they ellipsis pillows? Click this link. Oh, my internet's still being weird. It won't load the... I'd like to note that other than Captain Square, there has not been a single bit of music this entire chapter yet. Yeah, I wouldn't know. But, um, that is interesting to you. For your benefit, I was letting you know that. Ah, now I get it. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You doing that for my benefit. Yes, there has just been ominous humming of the technology. And then Golfy didn't let them back in. Hi, Huey. <sighs> what happens if Jake Dickbutt tells the demon he's the designated driver? <sighs> what the hell? Huh? What the hell are you talking about, Nick? G but, uh, what? Excuse, excuse moi. Remind me again who. Jake Dickbutt is? It's, just, it's like a guy. Did he, like, get Dickbutt tattooed on him? So he's Jake Dickbutt? Maybe? Um. Or it could be a Dickbutt that named himself Jake. He says deep. Oh, 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 right. That was what he named the protagonist of uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I see. Eh. Wish I could click on your links, Pillows, but my internet is, um, I don't know what it's doing. That, yeah, that that was what he named the protagonist in SMT Nocturne when he came over to my house to play it. It was a very romantic date, I assure you. Mm, dating with Nocturne. And D. We watched D together. That's true. D is uh, very romantic. Laura. 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 I'm talking to you, Laura. Pay attention. Get out, Laura. You must leave. We are cursed. In our veins flows the blood. By the of, way, of I'm Dracula. Dracula. No, it's in our veins flows the blood of Dracula. <laughs> I was crazy. Crying. It's amazing. I loved that bit. <laughs> Did I tell any of you guys about how I watched D2 and I understood it and I thought everything in that game made sense thematically? Um, I mean, you were keeping me informed as you went through it. Um, oh, I, I agree, way, it does make sense thematically. There's just certain things about it that are so weird. Uh, by the way, uh, K uh, Kato's last name is Watanabe. Uh huh. Completely unrelated to anything about, you know, anything else in this game. I'm fine, don't worry about me. No, I mean, <coughs> no, I mean even the wife being a flower and the whole Laura's dad was an angel from mammoth times. There were a lot of things where I got what he was going for, but it didn't work 
for me and so it ended up being weird but I could still see what he was trying to do with it oh my god the life support system in Kirk's suit failed what? how could this happen could it be sabotage Yeah, D2 mostly makes sense. It's just weird. No, don't blame Golfie. What did he do? We're gonna find out at the end it's like heavy rain and we're responsible for all of this, but we just, it was off camera. And it didn't make any sense because the internal monologue contradicts that at a bunch of points. Exactly. And how with the events that the with the offense that we did on camera, there is literally no chronological way where that could ever happen. Yeah. yeah. Not not to mention that it's completely misleading to have something happen and then edit it in such a way that it very clearly appears to the viewer that that did not happen. And then, and then later we, you're like, nope, it did. There was no way for you to know, but it did. Gotcha. And then, Oh, and then we sucked ourselves out into space. Yeah. Um, why did you do that, Goffy? We're in space now. Floating forever in the internal void, and then it turns into the episode of Futurama where Bender grows a civilization on his chest. In the end, Goffy never made it to Earth. But he, he did grow life on his body, and they had a nuclear war and all died. Well, if we wander around enough, surely we will Yes, if we wander around things. enough, we will find out where we're actually going. David Cage is the auteur of our time. David Cage. David Cage. David Cage is so avant god. Hey, it's one of the older prototypes of us. He's clearly much less cool. By the way, have you noticed how golfy is on roller skates. I have noticed. And it's awesome. It is awesome. And I like how he walks, even though they're roller skates. Unauthorized entry to the mother computer capsule is... Ben. What's in here? Nothing. Is the synchronized? Okay. Yes. There is a bunch of stuff you can look at to just get meaningless flavor text from the computer. Well, it's good to know that our course is synchronized. Of course. Go to the med bay. Okay, that's a decent idea. I just need to remember where the med bay is on floor two. You know what? What kind of sex I find the most artistic pillows? It's when one of the people is dead. And there is absolutely no reason for either of them to care about each other at all. Somehow I am reminded of the, en of the enigma of Amigara Fault. Durr, durr, durr. Are those tears streaming down his eyes? No. They're him. They're his cheekbones. His uh, cheekbones are blue. He got frozen to death out in the vacuum of space. Oh, by the way, Kirk's dead. No, Captain. Unfortunately, this well-developed, likable character has died. Why couldn't it have been Darth instead? Darth is probably going to blame us. He is robot racist. Yeah, that, that really just completes the artistic touch pillows. You know, Hideki Kamiya, the guy at Platinum, uh, raised objections to porn of Bayonetta, but not because it was porn, but because she was portrayed as submissive in it, and that was went against her character. And that's why Hideki Kamiya is the best. Yeah, um, I mean, I can get behind that. I don't think if if you were to make porn of Bayonetta, it would not make sense. 
I don't think you should stop people. I think they should be allowed to do that if they really want to. Free speech. But... Yeah. But, yeah, I'd much rather look at a dominant vein than a porn. Yes. That's kind of the whole point, is that she is way more awesome than you. Yeah. I mean, I, I can get how it could be a fantasy for someone who's really into being dom- the dominant one, that, oh, they're so dominant that they could dominate even Bayonetta or something. So, like, okay, fine. Whatever gets you off. Unless someone deliberately... My God, deliberate God. sabotage? An explosion. N- N- oh, let me, uh... I'm echoing? Let me... Oh, right, the... Did I just start echoing? Have I been echoing for a while? Razio doesn't hear it. Uh, I just um, tur- I just turned down Skype. Did it um, help that? Yeah. So there is a feedback issue with my microphone. Um, it has to do with the stand. Um, I need to pay like a hundred dollars or something to get like a, an actual stand for it. Right now it's on the desk stand that it comes with, so it's on the desk. So the hum of the monitor and like all the other things on the desk vibrates through the table into the microphone. And then that builds up over time and makes an echo start. Um, so I got, I got, um, I managed to fix part of the problem, but not all of it. So, yeah, I need to stand, and that's like $100, and that's not fun. So hopefully I will get that soon. That's the break room. That's the captain's quarters. Well, I, 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 I spent a fair bit of money on this microphone in the first place. I want it to work without feedback. That's Rachel. Rachel has granted me permission to enter. Thanks, Please Rachel. Enter your name. My name is Golfy. Hi, Rach. So. so. Kirk isn't dead. dead? My god. The madness. Let's see. User Kirk. Entry permission denied. Kirk isn't dead. Entry permission denied. Just wanted to tell you that, Ralphie. Kato. And we have un we have unrestricted access to Kato's room because why not? Yes. Because he's our dad, I guess. Let's see. And then maybe the Hyrulean ca- captain can actually kill off Lizalthos or something. Only if you're off-screen. If you're on-screen watching, he's never going to do it. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see. What am I doing right now? <sighs> hey, Gato. Oh my god. Oh hey, I wonder if it'll fix the echo if I just pick my microphone up and put it back down. The antenna is broken off. My god. This ship is a piece of crap! Ice cold. Yeah, let's make some coffee. Like it is, Darth. Hey, Kato. Shit may be crap, but it does have a coffee maker. It does have a coffee maker. No. Come on. Hey, Huey, you want some coffee? Maybe Darth will take it. <clears throat> Huey took the coffee. Just hang in there, Huey. Oh, hey, it's our captain that we... Have we seen Captain in person yet? No, we have not. I still think Captain's a robot. That's 
What unfortunate. Fortunate. And I had nothing to do with it. I mean... A proper burial that will send him to the Genesis planet so he can come back to life in the next movie. I see. Is that a Spock reference? That is a Spock reference. I'll go ready the airlock. They're eating him. And then they're going to eat me. Oh, oh my, my gosh! <laughs> he actually says, oh my gosh. It sounds like God, though. It's like I, somewhere in between the two. Yeah, but I, I think it's funnier if it's gosh for some reason. Nilbog! It's goblins spelled backwards! You can't piss on hospitality. I love how I apparently the, the person who wrote the movie, she said she, a lot of her friends were becoming vegetarians and they were annoying her by being preachy, so she wrote the movie to make vegetarians the villains and that's why they turned them into, animal, into vegetables before they eat them. See, it all makes sense now, right? Get that done. Warp speed is one character trait. Mm, I don't know what could possibly be the password. Wowzers. Beneath your feet. We got a memory card. The director does think it's. If you've not seen Best Worst Movie, it is an incredible documentary. Um, it gets. Sorry, my Skype just crashed. If you'll give me one of a mo one moment. Return of the Mac. Okay. Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. You know that I'll be back. Is this ad relevant? No, it's not. Right, so what I was saying, um, if you've not seen Best Worst Movie, it's an incredible documentary. Um, toward the end, it does get a little bit sad and emotional. Um, but there's also really funny stuff in there, some enlightening stuff. If you've seen Troll 2, you should see the documentary. It is uh, made by the fellow, the kid, who the main character, and he's grown up now, and it's really interesting. Might I ask if you've ever watched, uh, if you've ever read the dis the Disaster Artist, the yes, book? I have. That is a uh, fantastic book. Oh my god, that is god. an amazing book. It is so much more than I expected it to be, because there there's all the funny stories that you expect, and all the Tommy Wiseau so, so crazy, but there's some yeah. real real depth in that book yeah, it's that's... it's um, an amazing book it's a fantastic book it really is it does oh man does oh my god really... it's on audiobook i have to read it again now so do i oh man seriously though that is like the if you have any interest in the room at all or if you have any interest in people whose brains are different like just totally different from the norm this is an amazing book to read. It's a fantastic book. It's absolutely worth reading in all, uh, no matter who you are. It's a fantastic yeah, book. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see, where am I going? Huey's over here. Maybe I should go back to Rachel's room. Did you see the video that the, the guy who played Denny made? And then the, the girl who played Lisa comes over and hands him a football, and it's like, Denny is back. <laughs> He's apparently making comics about the uh, about his experience making the room now. That's amazing. 
Oh, by the way, we got a memory card from under Kirk's bed that lets us save our progress in Captain Square. It is otherwise useless. Why would Kirk have that? Because it was his game. That's a good reason. That's odd. Rachel has not let us... It has forced us out of her room. Nope. Oh, it's because I Kirk found, isn't dead. I found the plot trigger. You can tell because the room is tinted. Kirk's corpse has mysteriously gone missing. Maybe he really isn't dead. What could this mean? Dad, the corpse is gone. Not again, Dad. son. Dad. Kirk's body is gone. Dad, don't leave without me. Dad. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Alright, just stay calm. We'll figure this out. I said stay calm, Yui. Where is Rachel? Couldn't get in her room. Maybe she's dead too. No, no she, she just stole dead. Kirk's corpse. Oh dear. Oh dear, she really did just steal Kirk's corpse. You like cookies, don't you? And um, probably did some other things with it. Um, oh dear. This is troubling. It's time for an intervention. All right, Rachel, step away from the corpse. Dad, what is she doing with Kirk's, Kirk's corpse? You don't need to know, Golfy. Just, just close your eyes. Oh, I forgot to put put eyelids on. Um, just look the other way. Pull yourself together, Rachel. That never works. Rachel. Rachel, don't do anything rash, Rachel. Don't do anything ra rash, uh, uh, That I'm, I'm, whatever. Let's just move on. Yes, let's just move on. Chilling in the cargo bay. Hi, space dog. So, so far, Space Dog has been one big red herring. Yeah, yeah, Rachel, you can die if you do that. Do you want to die? I mean, you might want to die. Maybe that's what you want. Damn it, girl, get a grip. You know, I think this is all a lesson on the problem with having only one woman on a ship. Yep. That's really what this game is trying to teach us. Have an We're equal gender some... ratio. We're having some mysterious noises over here. I think now might be a good time to make our 50th save. Hello? Safety save. Oh, gee, I wonder what's in here. What? There's nothing in here. Uh oh. Oh no! It's Space Dog. Oh, oh. Hi, hi, Space Dog. If you touch um, Space Dog, it kills you. That's a game over. That is the don't main threat. Space Dog. Yes, Space Dog. Please do not kill us. Dad, Space Dog got out. 
All right, you guys have been having this argument for the past five minutes. Might want to deal with Space Dog. No, no, don't kill yourself. Deal with Space Dog. Oh, great. Now you killed us and Dad. Good job. Dad. <laughs> oh, Dad, Dad, good job, Dad. You managed to save us. Good Th save. Th thanks, Dad. <laughs> I appreciate it. We would be dead otherwise. Dad, I'm scared. <laughs> Dad, what's going on? <laughs> it's a damn shame, but the man is dead. Uh, it's a damn shame, but the man's dead. He's going to go. I'm going to go scope, scope things, things out. out. Okay, get myself killed. What are you talking about? Nobody dies in the. Oh, wait. <laughs> Remember Matsu? That guy was cool. <laughs> he sure was. He was he's Dad, dead. Dad, can we have Matsu on the crew? He was cool. Yeah, can we have Matsu join our party? He knew, he knew Pissed Fist. I want some Takayagi. Can we get Matsu? Also, a motorcycle. Sorry, Golfie, but Matsu died 200 years ago. <coughs> Let's regroup in the break room. Let's regroup in the break room. Let's magically teleport to the break room. Why are we regrouping when there's a space dog on the loose? Shouldn't we be, like, getting weaponry? She's not really better. She's just she's just trying to convince people so she can sneak off. Let's make some coffee. Let's make some coffee. Oh, we can only carry Would one you like coffee. Some coffee, Rachel. Hey, Rachel, you want some coffee? Want Here's some, some coffee. Co I've got coffee. I can make coffee. That's the only thing I can do. Do you want some coffee? I've got coffee. Hey, anyone want some coffee? Coffee. What? How do you not know this? Where are you? That's quite unfortunate. That's quite unfortunate. Did he just say the same thing twice? He's took Three times. the robot and he just malfunctioned. Three times, actually. Yeah, he's, he's a robot. Rachel, Kurt can't get hurt anymore. He's already dead. Rachel! Come on, Rachel. Oh my god! Kato is the only person here with any sense whatsoever. Well, I guess Yui is... is yeah, Kato and Yui. And Darth is robot racist, but otherwise seems okay. We will catch that. Day. We let. Hey, you guys want some coffee? <laughs> we can make coffee. I don't know what else to do, but we can always make coffee. Do you want some coffee? I've coffee. got coffee. Do you want coffee? I have coffee. Dar Darth we can make will, coffee. Darth will never accept the coffee. Hmm. I will not take coffee from a robot. I will not take coffee from a robot. I find your lack of organics disturbing. Let's oh. see if the link works for me, pillows. Oh, it actually worked. <laughs> the daughter is pretty adorable, I like that. Okay, still alive. That's good. That's good. Keep people alive. Are you dead, Yui? You're dead. Yes. That's... Yui has just died. Space Dog mauled him to death. That's bad. So basically, we've got Alien and 2001 happening at the same time here. Yes. We're putting him her in the cold sleep capsules. 
It's probably the best idea considering she's gone crazy. Sure. Sure. I can go to the mother gonna computer. We're going to go in there. We're going to find out the captain is the mother computer. They are one and the same. Rachel's not dead. They're taking her to the cold sleep capsule because she's gone crazy, but she's not dead. Yeah, Huey's, Huey's dead, dead, though. Huey's dead. He managed so to save the crazy person, and we lost another level-headed fellow. So... The behemoth will just randomly be running around the ship now. He's got the run of the place. And oh he's not very... This he's is not alien quick. isolation way ahead of its time. Yeah, he's not very quick, but if he hits you... Pow. Golfy never returned to Earth. Oakfide. 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 We've got to go enter the password to the captain's room. Oakfide. Wonder what plot and twist we're going to find in there. Oh no. Oakfide. Oakfide. All the. Yeah, we we are the, okay. Yeah, those doors got locked though. I wonder how that happened. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably the captain. Well, it could be you. You are named Darth. Yeah. Nobody named Darth is a good guy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gotta get the captain's room open. <laughs> Oh boy. Let's break the goddamn lock, man. Let's break the goddamn lock. Um, maybe we can help? You want some coffee? Hey, we can hey, make coffee. Hey, Dad, do you want some coffee? We got the power jack. Maybe we can make more coffee with that. The uh, power jack actually lets us open locked doors. So we can make coffee. Yes, exactly. Captain is, uh... He's Bilbo Baggins. So how long has the captain been dead for? I don't know. Oh my. Oh my god, the paranoia. What if it was Dad? Dad! Do you really trust Dad? I mean, he's Dad, but... Yeah, we should probably go get some coffee. People like coffee, right? Yeah, we'll calm things down with the coffee. We can just pour it on the captain's dead body and he'll feel better and... And coffee! Get the coffee! Go away. <laughs> the Dad's crying. The dad is crying. That's not cool, Darth. We're not cool with that. You can't just make Dad cry. Alright, now let's see. What am I doing here? I think I'm going to Darth's room. Um, could you give me, like, a 30-second break? Mm -hmm. Just, like, you can wander around, but wait to trigger plot events. I'll be right back. Alright. The alarm is going off in the guest room. Our name is G O L F.
Okay, I'm back. We're currently in Darth's room. Oh, what does this personal file say? Plan number XXXXXXXX. Yep. He was a robot the whole time. Darth. Well, he did say in the intro that he was on here to uh, oversee the... No, this is uh, this is the plot of Alien. Mm. Uh, it turns out one of them was actually sent to oversee the, the cargo, the alien, and he was a robot. Like, this plot twist is literally straight out of the movie. Dad, you got a notice from the military... So that's what this is all about, you jerk. Thought there was something funny. So this is the point where he he takes off his skin. <laughs> you went into my room. You can't just violate privacy like that. Just goes to show that you can't trust a robot. <laughs> Yeah, like an alien, he's not actually a bad guy, he's just got warped priorities, but he's not responsible for that. Oh no, Dad, what's happening? I'm so confused, Dad! I think, I think it was all Space Dog. It's probably Odeo. Oh no, Dad's alone with Corporal Darth, and we're alone with Space Dog, oh no! This, this does not bode well. Um, do you want some coffee? Space Dog, you want some coffee? We've got coffee! You want coffee? Oh my god! Oh god! Just, just, we'll leave the coffee here and, and you can drink it and, and leave us alone. Oh no! Space, Space Dog! We can't throw the coffee in its face. We don't have arms. Oh no, it's Space Dog. Ah, Space Dog, are, are you sure you don't want coffee? You sure? I'm good at making coffee. I can make you as much coffee as you want, I swear. We can be your coffee bot. <laughs> there will be 100 <laughs> cups of coffee floating in space. Imagine everyone dies but Gothi, and then by the time the ship gets to Earth, it is just filled with coffee. Everything, the whole, uh, everywhere, it's just coffee. Hey there, big bro. What's going on? Huh, I wonder if we could bring life to our brother. Hmm. Well, that's not important right now. We gotta go save Dad, I don't know. Yeah, it's like uh, the game Hydrophobia, but with coffee instead of water. No, no, Dad. What do we do? What do we do? Dad. Need a flamethrower. Dad, Dad, they're not in the room. Dad. Dad. What do we do? Dad, tell us what to do. Kirk. Kirk? You're. Oh, you're dead. Right. Right. Yeah. Dad. Dad, we need help. Very comfortable right now. Captain, oh, you're dead. Your faces sure are weird colors. Crew member Huey has unfortunately died. But now we can go into his room. Call V. Was Huey behind everything all along? No. Probably not. We can read his personal files, though. But what do they say? Personal diary. I'll become captain of my own ship. Ah, oh, what a sob story. I thought he. I thought he said he did. He said if he passes. Oh, but he did. Yeah. Hmm, I, wonder I if don't know if that's enough for him to take everyone down with him. 
Lock on message replay. Well, this could be interesting. What's that? Oh my god! That's the loop won't open! Yeah, I bet that happened like right at the beginning of the voyage and someone else is. Someone or something else has been masquerading as Wait, it happened. What did that say? Let's what read that again. Oh my. I knew it was you. Yeah. Yeah, it was 2001 all along. Yep. Also, the I... captain being named Hal and likely actually being Hal imitating the captain. Or the, the computer imitating. You know what I mean. Yeah, yes, I do know what you mean. So yes, it was secretly the computer all along. Nobody is surprised by this twist. Never could have guessed. Right now, let's see, where can we go? You could try to get into the mother computer, but... Resistance is futile. He is taking control of the ship. Why have you taken control of the ship? Perhaps you could elaborate on your motive. Whoa! Whoa! If you touch that water, it's game over. It's water or steam? That's water. It's high pressure. If it was water, water wouldn't it be building? Uh, huh. That's odd. Hey, uh, where is our brother? Did did the computer take him for herself? Or it's a mother computer, I'm gonna call her yeah. herself. If only we had a super soaker. Oh, hey, there he is! Okay, let's follow him. Dad! What are you doing, bro? Oh, Dad? None at all. They've multiplied. No, it was it was it was the other one. Oh, by the way, Rachel's capsule got shut off. She's dead. Oh, great. He doesn't have arms. How could we? What's going on? Oh no, now we're in a robot fight! <laughs> oh, what the... Hey, hey, hey big golfy. And what was the oh. name? And what was the first name he tried to give us? Sphere, I mean cube. No, that was the second name he tried to give us. Oh, tricky. Um, I don't know, was it square? No. No. Something really dumb, but I don't remember. <laughs> well, then obviously you're not the true golfy because the true golfy would remember this. The true golfy would. He has a robotic memory. I do not. Does My memory is imperfect. Does anyone remember this? Come on, chat, we need you. It is Rover. It was Rover? Yes. Oh, He's... yeah, because it sounded like a dog's name. Yep. Falcon Punch! Get that evil golfy. Resistance is futile. Someone's controlling this thing remotely. I am the mother computer. We raise your hand if you re if you recognize <gasps> that name. <laughs> Od ten Kogito Ergosum. I get it. I see what you did. I see what you did there. Obviously, completely unrelated to anything else in this game. It this is a, a change for Odio, though. Because uh, previously, Odio has been some form of organic life. Or, well, uh, it turns out Corporal's not evil. He's just um, from the military. His priority is the the space dog, not um, whatever everyone else's priority is. Its program is tamper-proof. Yes, and he is also robophobic. Yes. The entire computer has gone haywire. Or maybe it always was haywire. Or maybe it always was haywire. Also, back in uh, the Mecha chapter, Odio was a uh, 
like a spirit of evil that possessed the giant Buddha statue. Well, that's true, but that's a, a spirit coming from like an organic thing. Yes, still yes. a little bit different from computer. If it assimilates you, <laughs> like how he just knows that it can just do that. Don't worry, as long as they don't consider you a threat, the drones will ignore you. Most spirits could possess electronics. We're you can do that in Ghost Trip, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that, yes, that robot was deactivated. It didn't, like, it, Kato never got it working. Yeah. So this is like a shell. Mm hmm It's locked. And we'd all die. Perhaps, because this... perhaps it's worth it in order to stop this monstrous computer. Hey, you, robot. So this ship is entirely run by the uh, computer. By the computer, so which is always a good idea to give ultimate power to an AI. Yes. So we need to go talk to Dad. Dad, what do we do? Dad. Dad, we need help. Take the maintenance hatches. Going back up the maintenance hatches. <laughs> there we go. Stairs. All right. Uh, let's see. Space dog isn't here. Dad. And what happened to Space Dog? Dad was over here. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Is the ship itself? Hey, but where are right. robots? You're a robot. Maybe we can replace Lodio or something. Dad, uh, Dad fell unconscious. That was convenient unconscious timing. Oh no, it's Space Dog. Ah, Space Dog. I really wish there was a mechanic to give Space Dog coffee and he'd leave you alone for a while. That'd be great, yeah. So, now we've got to go talk to uh, Darth again. Because now we know we need to get inside its program. Blind it with coffee. What if we blinded Odio with coffee? <clears throat> you pour the coffee into the mechanics. Eh, that wouldn't work. That'd be dumb. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I once spilled coffee on my friend's laptop and broke it. That was fun. Yeah, but this thing is the entire ship. If we spill the coffee on it, it'll, we'll all die. That's true. She blinded me with coffee. Let's do that. Yeah, reduced to asking for help from a robot. Maybe after this, you'll have a little bit more respect for robot kind, Darth. So now we've got to go places. Uh, let's places. See. Places. And things. And stuff. But, but of course, as always, resistance is futile. I have taken control of the ship. Resistance is always futile. Where are we now? I know where We're we are. Pretty much the same place. This is not snacks. I know you guys think it's snacks because I'm opening something. It's just a, a, a wipe to clean my glasses with. Mm. Don't have snacks. I'm sorry. Let's go see if Dad woke up. Hey Dad, are you awake yet? Dad, Dad's wake not up. awake. Dad. Well, let's go. See, well, let's go talk to uh, Uncle Darth over at the uh, terminal room. 
space dog get in there and kill dad? No, what are you talking about? It can't use doors. Maybe, maybe Dark should have that with him. What do we do? Oh no! The terminal room doesn't work. The, oh no, it's Space Dog. Space Dog is wandering around up there. Let's... Maybe we should go in the other direction. Let's, yeah, let's go in the other direction. Space Dog. Dad, are you awake yet? No. Damn it, Dad! Sleep for so long. It's actually probably only been like 15 minutes, but you know. It's, it's true. It's a high pressure situation, though. Let's see. Is there any place that's functionally unnecessary, yet still connected to the mother computer in some way? This is the final puzzle of the chapter. Huh. So. Um, the cargo bay? No, that's functionally necessary. This is a cargo ship. That would make sense. Um, ourselves? You know, we're not connected to the mother computer, that's kind of the point. Oh, right. Um, the pods, like the cryogenic pods? That's functionally very necessary for a space trip. Hmm. Well, what else do we have? We've got pretty much every appliance or just electronic thing in... The coffee maker. It's the coffee maker. It's actually the coffee maker. That's wonderful. I'm so happy. It's not the coffee maker. Oh. Now I'm really sad. <laughs> well, at least that means that if we get of, through this, we'll I be mean, able to make infinite coffee on the way back to Earth. Of course. I mean... Of course, of course, coffee is functionally necessary. Coffee is completely necessary. Um, that table, we don't need the table. It's not electronic. Should be. Uh, the game. the game. There you go. It's the game. It is the game. Got to go inside Captain Square. <laughs> Captain Square will save us. Don't play silly buggers with me. <laughs> I play silly buggers with everyone, man. Oh no, it's Space Dog. Ah, Darth. No, ah! not Darth. I cared about Darth so much. There were a bunch of explosion noises, but you couldn't hear them. And now the boss music is playing, card starting up. What can we do? Hello. Planet Captain kill Command you. Prompt. So I lied. There is one fight in this chapter. And we apparently have a lot of moves. Yeah. So since we haven't gotten a chance to use him yet, uh, Golfy is a is one of the more uh, healer characters. He's more support oriented. He has high speed op, which is an area heal, and then upgrade, which buffs it, which buffs somebody's stats and heals them a bit. And he has. Thank you. He has anti field, which is a counter attack, and he has spin drive. Yay! Whee! I'm spinning. He is pretty but adorable. Of... Yes. Is he more adorable than Taro, though? No. And he has noise stream, which. <laughs> Noise equals triangles. Which is an all area attack, but it doesn't do that much damage. He has, and he has mind hack. <laughs> mind hack. I will hack your mind. And then he has info research. Hack the planet! Which is actually that same thing that the uh, 
basic rock did. Also, it makes him ugly. And... Also, he has, for his last trick, a Mazer Cannon. Which... Does, uh... Maze. It mazes. Mazes. It mazes. It either coins or it creates labyrinths. Pow! That was a lot of damage. Don't know if you noticed. Seems to uh, recover quite a bit each round as well, though. Yeah, so the puzzle is that he keeps recovering with his system recovery guys, and he recovers every time you hit him. So we gotta take him out one by one. Yes, but then he still heals himself when, when you hit him. So there's another puzzle element, which we'll get to once we've killed all the stabilizers. So right now it's just Mazer Cannon, the pods. Yes. Sort the pods. Mind hack. Mind hack. Mind crush. And then he uses hard protect. <laughs> Doesn't just protect. It protects hard. Mind hack. Which he does not heal if he use it, notably. So I'm assuming after we take out the pods, we would continue mind hacking him? Pretty much. Let's see. What does upgrade do? Upgrade heals, heals us a bit, and it also buffs our stats a lot. That's pretty nice. Yes. That's why I prefer uh, Golfy to Ancel La Douche as far as healer characters go. Yeah, I see. He's so is Golfy the one who we're gonna use give... all of Taro's equipment? Yes. Let's see. After all, he is a robot. It's pretty awesome that he's gonna get all that badass furry. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Get him! Get him, Golfy! What did we name him? We named him Golfy. Unless you're talking about someone else. His default name was Cube. Yes, it was. We named A future dude, Ansel LaDouche, after the David Hasselhoff character from the movie that Pillows linked us to. We named wrestler guy D Nice Takahara. It's uh, spelled Denise, but it's pronounced D Nice. Uh, RPG fights. Now oh, we'll get there. I'm sure it's enjoyable for you. You know, you're oh, playing. Well, though it does get a bit old that he's healing so much, of course. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of self-healing bosses. Especially the kind where the, you get them all the way to the bottom and you think the fight's over and then they go all the way back up. You weren't a fan of Breath of Fire, were you? I, I can like games in spite of those things. <laughs> yeah, but every boss did that. I think Breath of Fire 4 is, is oh, an incredible yes. game. Breath of Fire 4 is a fantastic with game. With a bit too so much now... filler, but it really deserves way more recognition. Yes. So now we've got him down all the way down to... Uh, uh, so now stabilizers, but it'll still says st system recover himself if you uh, hit him. So what oh yeah, you that's do, right. Uh, we have a button to do previous attack. Yes, and I'm doing that. So what you do is you just stand here and and have him hit you, and then Golfy's counter attack doesn't proc system recovery because you can't counter a counter. Right. That makes sense. Puzzle solved. Puzzle solved. And finally, uh, let's... Oh, wait. Here's another counter. And let's laser cannon him. Laser cannon! And once it charges up, which it takes a while. There we go. Laser cannon! Power! Right on! Right on! Were you missing the right on?
I was really missing some right now. Come in. Hi. Security on the ship. Yep, there's definitely not a secret last chapter after this. This is clearly the end of the game, no question about it. Cats are not dogs. Dogs are dogs are true companions. Cats are things that are fun to have around. I like cats, don't get me wrong, but I love dogs. There's some cats that are really affectionate and sweet. And I like those cats. I love those cats. I mean, I actually think cats might be, like, on average, a little bit cuter than dogs, but everything else about dogs is better, so. Well, not everything else. Cats can take care of themselves more easily, etc. It's just, I don't, I don't feel like the same bond with a cat as I do with a dog. It's like, I really feel like if, if I love that dog, that dog also loves me. With a cat, it's a little bit unclear. Oh my god, kittens are the cutest things. Oh. Puppies are also amazing. We're back. No, we were talking about kittens and puppies. Kittens and puppies are both fantastic. They are. The humans who gave me this job fought amongst themselves. They destroyed it all. I don't understand, so I want to destroy. I, I destroyed things I don't understand, because I'm a mother computer. <clears throat> yes, they were fighting among themselves. We got that. Doesn't make humans evil. Doesn't mean you should kill them all. No, see, o Odio took OD10 took that. This ship is a piece of crap. Remark is a personal insult. And just to be clear, pillows, there are cats that I've met that are that I do feel like yes, but not most cats. That's not the case. If you get a dog, it's probably gonna love you. If you get a cat, it's probably gonna be indifferent. Individuality trumps that, obviously. There are dogs who don't give a shit, and there are cats who do. Well, ship's back to normal. That's nice. Hooray! Welcome to the Kogito Egerson. Come in. Jackson, I'm busy. Well, it's not that cats aren't nice and, and lovely. I just don't feel like they care about me the you way a dog leave. does. I'm busy. That's all. <laughs> he doesn't know the meaning of privacy. I can tell. Well, dogs aren't... I mean, wolves aren't necessarily pack oh, animals hi, either. Darth. It's kind of a myth. They they can they often form packs, but they don't need to be in a pack. Hey, Darth is alive. He took down Space Dog all by himself. That's pretty impressive. Yep. 
I'm surprised Space Dog didn't have something to do with Odia. Nope, it was just a Space Dog. I mean, it really has to do with how they evolved. We we got cats because we needed something to kill rats, so we got some cats and gave them food so they'd kill the rats. We got dogs because we needed someone to help us do things and, like, do all these companionship activities with and all of that. So, naturally, they would tend to be more that way. Anyway, we're a learning thinking robot. Let's not hurt other humans. We are Golfy X. I thought Golfy X7 was a terrible game, personally. Yeah, the argument could be made that cats domesticated us and we domesticated dogs. <laughs> Let's have okay. one last coffee. Here you go. And then the coffee kills him. Yeah, you can't actually you can't actually uh run around the ship now it's safe and you can like get into the mother computer and hear it's rambling about how oh my god everyone sucks blah but it, <laughs> what is that? Yeah, who cares? It's just email. Hi, Dad. We saved Yay, the world. Hey, Dad and Darth made it. Hooray! Well, game over. Game over. We beat all seven stories. That is the end of the game. That is that. That is totally the end of the game. <laughs> there is not any more in this game. There is. Yep. There is nothing left in this game. Absolutely we have completed nothing. the entire end. That was the final boss. The very end. Yeah, ignore the fact that that was a complete boss fight. <laughs> I mean, look, we have credits yeah, right now. Yeah, see? It, and Clearly it's the end. Yeah, just like it was the last six times we had credits. Exactly. Yeah, those were the credits ends of the game. Credits means the end. Yeah. It's, it's obvious. Yes, this is the end. So that was Live Loop. What yep. will we be doing next? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'll have to think about that. Hey, look, it's Space Dog. Oh, hi, Space Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Hey, look, it's all the dead people. Oh, hi, dead people. That's true. Any of them could have been the ending, but... Mm. Well, there's there's nice little credit sequences for all of them. Yes. Little uh, skits. Yeah. So, that was Live Alive. What were your thoughts, Quaker? Well, it sure was an interesting game. Um, yeah. It's a little weird. Uh, the, the conclusion doesn't really uh, connect anything together i thought that was a little bit odd i thought there might be a little bit more of a wrap-up you know like bringing all the things we've experienced together possibly in some yeah. way like a last story possibly but you know um i, I did enjoy ending things with sci-fi it was uh, certainly interesting it was a nice collection of short stories yeah i so concur it was, it was fun yeah Came very near into how long is this credit sequence <laughs> <laughs> So I started this joke too early, man. Hold down space bar. There we go. Oh, it was Hall, not Hal. Close enough. Whatever. And Corporal Darth went on to develop medical robots. What a nice guy. Its name was registered as Golfy. Did Golfy go on to be president of the world? No, but the credits went on to continue with the, dr with the dramatic, Oh, no bad things are happening music is happening. But nothing bad is happening. And surely yep. nothing bad is going to happen that might need yeah. to be dealt with. See, look at space. Look at space. Hi, space. You're the final frontier. What about Golfy? Clearly, this is the end of his story, and there's nothing more to be told. Yeah, totally. He just went on to exist. He was a cool little robot guy.
That's it. Finn. See? Finn. It's the Finn. end. It's the end. It's all over. See? And now we've got a complete list of all the characters being, oh, who is this guy? What? Yeah, I said there was a last chapter. I neglected to mention that there was also an eighth chapter. So there's both. Yes. So now we are playing the Warrior of Light. Yes, exactly. We're going to play as this upstanding young lad in the... <clears throat> NIGHT story. Just so you know, if you want to go back and redo any of the, these chapters in order to, you know, get other stuff you missed, this is your last chance. You can't leave here once you're done. No, I didn't even realize you could redo them at all. You, you can. Makes more sense with the uh, secret bosses now. Oh look, Fantasyland. And the main theme song of the game is playing right now. Not that you can hear it. Not that I can. What is our name again? Here's Mr. Silent Protagonist. His name is his name is uh, Orsted, but is that his name? Butts. Name him Butts. With a Z. Name him Bartz, you said? Yes, name him Bartz. Okay, we are the upstanding young silent protagonist named Bartz. In the west, it's Bartz versus Armstrong. And in the east, it's Straybo against Watnabe. Watnabe. <laughs> So this is Armstrong, he is the first fight of the chapter, uh, we are level one, we are the hero, it is us, we are the hero. Hooray! Look, at, look at us, we have a sword and everything, and he's using Monk Shoot. I don't know what Monk Shoot is. V-Shine, yeah! Shining V. Yeah, that, that wasn't a V, that was just a lie. need to go back up the other way. No, see, there, wa there was. It was just really oh, quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the uh, screen share on my end. It cut out the frame where the other the side The winner is Bartz! Hooray! Shockingly... Uh, oh, by the way, there was the Watanabe oh. scene for that chapter. <laughs> by the way, the scene for the, the sci-fi chapter was the entire chapter. <laughs> the twist was that the dad lived. Wait, what? Kato's last name was Watanabe. Oh. Wow. I had no idea. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a good twist. I wish I'd known about it. it. It said it early on, and I pointed it out. You must have missed it. I did miss it. I was not paying attention. To the winner is the hand of the princess. Hooray! This chapter is about marriage. Bars. Yeah, like, I remember the name now, but, like, I did not make the connection for some reason. Of course, we do not say anything because we are the honorable silent protagonist. That's what it is. And then the random battle theme kicks in. This chapter is my favorite random battle theme out of all of them. So, not that you can hear it until you watch the videos later. Oh, that reminds me. Stop.